G'day YouTube. Okay, I was just editing this video and what the hell man? Is it the booze or what? I look like a fat bloated asshole. Too much of these tonight, I think. We're going to do a Katana 100 uh, walkthrough slash review today. Now I have reviewed it on my channel before, but I deleted it. I wasn't happy with the quality of that video and uh, I didn't really give it a fair chance either. But now I've had several months now to play with this amp and get to know it a lot better, so let's do a new one. And obviously I flipped it just so you can see the uh, controls a little bit better on that camera anyway. Got it plugged into my 2x12 Harley Benton cabinet with vintage 30s. Pretty good combination, I must say. Just get it off standby. Let's chuck it on 50 watts, that'll do. It's hot as a fuck in here, whew! Alright, so... I've got the Katana 100 plugged into my Android phone and that's running Katana Librarian from the Play Store which enables you to edit and adjust everything that you can with the official app on PC. It's just more convenient for me just to plug into a mobile phone and use a third party app. You know, it's all there anyway. So let's approach it from the perspective of someone that just got this app. It's in panel mode. I remember I wasn't originally impressed with the metal tones I was getting out of the box on this thing. You know, without digging into the inside of the amp and playing with the software. Um, you know, like it defaulted to like a blues driver, overdrive, you know, that doesn't really sound good to me and yeah. I got much better tones when I started, you know, playing with the amp sims and you know playing with the EQ and changing the overdrive to a tube screamer. So anyways, oh we'll put it on the uh clean or the acoustic setting first, there you go. Put the bass at 9 o'clock, the middle at 9 o'clock, the treble at 9 o'clock. No boost yet. Reverb, yeah, we'll leave it at 9 o'clock. Presence and master, not master. <laughs> Presence on 9 o'clock. Alright, so acoustic. Basin. Put the bass on noon, middle on noon, treble on noon, presence on noon. Sounds good. I'll skip to the clean. Put the middle back to nine, bass back to nine, treble back to nine. Base noon, middle noon, treble noon, presence noon. Getting louder.
I've got to learn some different clean riffs. I oh, you know a couple. Middle three o'clock, treble three o'clock, presence three, bass three, I don't know. Sounds good to me. I mean, I always thought it had good clean tones, no matter what you said of that. Put the bass back to three, middle back to three, treble back to three, presence back to three. Put it on the crunch setting. Treble up to noon, bass up to noon, middle up to noon, presence up to noon. More gain, man. to noon. on three, middle on three, treble on three, hell yeah, put some presents on three, a bit more gain, yeah, we'll go about two o'clock, why not? <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me, that might be a little bit too high with the treble, but uh, you get a bit of a different idea on the sounds you can get before you start digging into the software and changing stuff. Go onto the lead channel now. Put everything back at nine o'clock. The lead channel is probably designed, you know, for leads, but um, you know, you get a decent rock and roll tone out of it, and even a good uh, heavy rock metal tone out of it. <laughs> Bass at noon, middle at noon, treble at noon, presence at noon. More crunchy? <laughs> Crank the bass to three, middle to three, treble to three. Presence, it gets too bright at three, so I'll just go, you know, I don't know, about one and a half, two. Well, that's quite bright actually. Might even leave the presence at noon. Have to adjust the volume for the uh, frequency differences. It's all 
alright. I'd probably be a bit more modest though and put it at noon. Hands are sweating so much the pick's falling out of my fingers. Anyways, you get a you get a rough idea of the default experience. Brown channel is kind of where it's at for high gain. I put the gain back on nine, bass back on nine, middle on nine, treble on nine, presence on nine. I'll dial it back a bit. There we go. <laughs> Middle noon, bass noon, treble noon, presence noon. Increase the gain a bit, about two o'clock. the mids a little bit just for the hell of it. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. So I'll put the boost. Oh, that's gonna get loud. Halfway up. I want to back off again a little bit. But yeah, as I mentioned, you really get to the awesome tones when you connect your phone or PC to the Katana and then start playing with the software. So in this case, like I said, Katana Librarian, that's where it's at. Then when you're happy with the clean tone you put in there, you know, you might want to save it into channel 1, your whole channel 1, and then it's saved into channel 1. It will always recall those settings when you hit channel 1 on that or on the foot switch. Uh, you know, you might want to do a nice rock and roll ACDC sort of tone and then hold down channel 2, that will save it on channel 2. And then channel 3, like a metal tone, and channel 4, like a lead solo tone, whatever you want. And then you can recall it on the fly at will. And... Uh, yeah, then the front of the amp pretty much is invalid then. Doesn't matter what you got dialed in there, it just recalls the saved software settings that you've dialed in. I'll take it off panel mode now. I'll do it on the foot switch here. So now everything I dialed into this is now disregarded. It's just recalling the settings and presets I've dialed in previously and saved. <laughs> So that's the clean tone that I dialed in and saved on channel 1, love it. Channel 2, sort of ACDC-ish, got a rock tone, maybe a little bit heavier than ACDC, let's say maybe KISS. <laughs> Bye. 
second, I've got my high gain tone. I've got that set pretty bright, you know, just to like cut through the mix if there's another guitar player and I'm playing rhythm in the background. So the tone options are pretty much endless with this thing. For me, it may be overwhelming. I'm a simple man. I like, you know, either a high gain solo stage or a high gain tube amp, you know, with <laughs> just your standard controls, you know, your bass, treble, your mids, Maybe a bit of reverb, resonance, presence, and then you know, I'm happy. And gain and volume, of course. I stick an overdrive in front of it, and I'm happy, man. But with this, I find myself dialing in different tones and thinking, yeah, that sounds good. And then, like, a week or two later, I'm playing it, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound too good. I'll make some adjustments. Yeah, that sounds good now. So I play that for a little while, then I go back and I go, hang on, why did I fucking make it so bright? That's too bright, man change it, you know, play it for a while, then it's like, oh, it's too muddy. For me, the more options, the worse off I am. I'm my own worst enemy. I'm forever tone searching when, when it comes to, you know, so much options. That's why I don't get big multi-effects boards with endless options in there. I just, less is more for me. But I think I've dialed in some pretty good tones. It sounds pretty good in the room to me. Although I might change my mind next week, but it sounds pretty good to me. Hopefully it sounds good on the recording. Hopefully I can settle down now and be happy with these tones I've dialed in that I've demoed and just just leave it at that and then just use the amp and just play. <laughs> you got your amp simulators there and then you can adjust within the software what you want to set it to gain volume bass middle treble boost modulation like chorus and that whatever you put in the signal chain delay reverb master and you can change the wattages from 0 0.5 watts to 50 to 100 it's pretty cool uh, change the cab resonance from vintage to modern to deep I don't like the modern and deep sort of option that much, I like the vintage sound, so I I didn't even go through that on the video, but 
it's not that, you know, fantastic. Behind, you know, your effects send and return. Stereo expand. Is that supposed to be on? I'm not even quite sure about that. Is that for two cabinets? I don't know. Oh, it came already turned on and I haven't changed it. But I might have to look into that. Line out. Power amp in. Phones or record out. Expression pedal. I've got the full controller right here plugged in. You've got a MIDI in. I'll probably never play with half of these features. But uh, it's there in case you want it. Let's flip it. Quick look at this app here, if I can hold this steady. Comes with a heap of patches, or you can create your own and save it and name it whatever you want. Editor, all the front panel options you can edit from the uh, app. Then once you dial in the tone that you want, you know, you save it into the channel that you want. So, so many options, man. There's your cabinet rezo, signal chain. I've got a tube screamer there, that's dialed in like that. You can change it to a heap of different overdrives or distortions. Modulation, you know, if you want to put that in. You've got heaps of options there, can you see that? Chorus, flanger, phaser, tremolo, vibrato, rotary, you know, heaps of shit. Wah, I haven't even played with most of this stuff yet. Delays. Oh, that's all you got to pick from, I think. Effects. T. We got Waz and graphic EQ, paramedic EQs, guitar sim, AC guitar. I don't, I don't even know what half this stuff is. Oh, pitch shifter, harmonist, humanizer, phaser, delay two, reverse delay, stereo, analog, modulate, STE three thousand, amplifier, sims. Choose a bright option there if you want, or you can pick from all this. You can see that. Let's have a look at a parametric EQ, shall we? There you go. To fun adjust your tones. Then once you're happy with the tone, you hold down the channel you want to save it in. One, two, three, or four. And there's also another bank of four. And you're set. Bloody cool amp, man. I love it. The bloody Boss Katana 100, man. What can you say? I don't know of any better amps you're gonna get for this price. What is it? Like, under $600 Australian. What's that, American? $350, $400? Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. More content coming soon. I've got a new guitar for you. That'll be my next review. Just when he said, I'm not gonna buy any more gear, and I go out and buy another guitar, well, what can I say? I suffer from GAS. Gas? No, not gas. Well, that too, but gear acquisition syndrome. Like all of you. Only difference is I'm going to pay for all this fucking gear. I'll get no freebies. And even if I did, I'd be bloody brutally honest regardless. Have a good one. Kudos.